So what's up? It's always me, Johnny. And actually, this is a very common question that I see on the internet and actually under my videos too. So the question is, should I wait for the new chipset from Apple or I can just buy one of the new M1 Max right now? Well, let's find that out. <laughs> So welcome back to the video and the question is very easy to answer but before you decide what you have to buy you have to consider some factors so for now what i can tell you is that actually i'm using this new m1 macbook i have the macbook pro it's just the base model so 8 gigabytes of ram 256 of storage and i had it for like more than a month now as i said before in my previous videos i never had a mac and i never used a mac uh, for this long time, but I can tell you that uh, this one is a great device and especially for its form factor And actually this is one of the things that you have to consider because you know If you buy one of these new laptop with the M1 chip, you know that you got the 13 inch model It's very portable as we already know because it's 13 inch. I mean, it's it's very small So I have it here so you can see it. It's just very very small so it's very portable and it's very light so you can throw it pretty much in every bag you can just carry it around without any problem and also you have to consider that you have this form factor but most important you have those performance and actually a pretty good price for a device like this because if you consider that you can buy a Dell XPS 13 uh, for uh, twice the price or maybe 2000 euros that are like maybe too much for someone and so uh, the new laptops from Apple will be probably like uh, 14 inch and 16 inches so here for example just I think just one inch it can make a very big difference in a form factor maybe you have some bags for your laptop that only a 13 inch laptop could fit in so you will not use that and so for the 16 inches so that one is very big you just don't like big laptops and you just don't want to carry it around this is one of the first thing you have to take in consideration instead if you don't want to consider only the laptop and form factor stuff so you have to think on what you have to use these devices for because i can tell you right now that i'm using this laptop and so this new chip from Apple, the M1, that if you are going to do like office work or maybe just writing or maybe web browsing and light stuff like that. And sometimes like video and photo editing, maybe uh, light video editing, but sometimes not so light because it can easily handle some 4K footage and as I said in my previous videos on editing on this machine if you are using right now Final Cut uh, you will not have pretty much any problem because it can handle also 6K and 8K files maybe if you are just going to, to do some light edit otherwise if you are going to do like a big massive and just heavy load projects this is not the device you're looking for because for now for the optimization and also for the raw power of these devices you're not going to do like heavy work because this one is not capable of i mean you can do some heavy work but uh, not that much and maybe you will encounter some errors some crashes so it just will be a waste of time and probably money so if you are one of those users that do heavy work on their devices i will suggest just to wait a little bit just to know if they are announcing and if they come out with a new chipset because you can see then uh, the comparison between the two chips and so you can decide if it's worth it or maybe just if you want to still buy one of these um, whole, we can say, devices and that's it. If you are that kind of user, that is my suggestion. Another thing that you have to consider and I think uh, this one too is one of the most important because if you still consider, I'm just, I mostly consider the laptop lineup because it's just uh, that one that I like it more. So talking about the laptop lineup, one important factor is the battery life. So the battery life on these new devices 
is very very good as you may already know because you probably have seen just a lot of videos on youtube like like me so you already know the capabilities of these new batteries on these new devices and you don't know how it will be uh, the batteries on the new uh, m1 chips or maybe m1x chips so the possibilities are two in my opinion so one is that you got the same batteries or maybe similar but with more power of course it demands more battery so your battery life will go down pretty much uh, sooner that, than this one and the other possibility optimization aside it's just they put just a bigger battery inside of the laptops and so you probably have the same battery life maybe with some tweaks and stuff like that but you have to consider that battery is taking like physical space in your laptop so if they take more physical space in your laptop it's gonna be like heavier and bigger that's pretty much uh, the possibility like 99% is gonna be bigger and also with less space inside and more power it's gonna make like more heat because it's gonna heat sooner than this one and with the heat comes also the noise factor because probably with more power it has to have like uh, some fan or fans inside maybe one or two who knows and so the noise if you want to buy a silent notebook you have the air without any fan you get like nice performance i mean great performance and without any noise with this one you get like a fan with the MacBook Pro. There is a fan inside, but it doesn't make pretty much any noise. So, you know, uh, these are just little things that um, you will just encounter when you use a device. But before you buy it, maybe you don't think at these things. So that is why I'm making this video for you. And also talking about uh, noise and fans and stuff like that, I have one video coming on this MacBook Pro about that topic. So if you want to see it, just subscribe right now if you haven't already, because it's gonna be uh, very, very interesting. And so you do not have to miss it. So just subscribe. Then after telling you all these things that probably are useless or useful, you decided, and just let me know down below in the comments. And after telling you all of this, you have to answer your question yourselves because as i said before the most important thing is is what are you going to use uh, these devices for and so when you will answer this question you will actually know what to buy if this actual lineup of m1 chip or maybe you have to wait the m1x chip and anyway if you have something to add to let anybody know Maybe it's something that I miss because because I don't know everything. I could have missed uh, something. So if you know something more useful, just type it down in the comment for everyone who comes here and watch the video and maybe reads all the comments because you know now on YouTube, you just go scroll through the comments and you just read everything now. If you have something useful to write, just type it down below. So that being said, I hope this video just solved your uh, questions and your dubs and maybe not made uh, your decision worse probably i hope not <laughs> and what i can do is just to say thank you for taking your time to watch this video i can invite you just to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already because you're not gonna miss any other new and interesting content on this channel so do it right now if you haven't Thanks again for watching this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.